Hi everyone, I'm Claire. And I'm John. And today we're talking about fruitless effort. What? Can you imagine effort without what? fruit? I can't. If you're slightly confused by this title, don't worry. Mm. So were we. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, well, we can safely say this has mm -hmm. got something to do with fruit. So let's start with that idea. Okay. So real basic question. We haven't had one oh, this gosh. basic in quite some time. Yeah. John, what is your favorite fruit? And interestingly enough, since it is basic, I, I had a hard time answering this. Ooh, um, awesome. Because it's not a fruit. It's a berry. Ah, oh, you're going to get technical. I know. At, I know people are like, that's not a fruit, it's a berry. But it's in the same category, a sweet, fleshy item. I don't know if I want to describe it like that, <laughs> but <laughs> it's a raspberry. Raspberries, mm -hmm. oh, they're lovely. I love raspberries. I like raspberries. If I have to pick a technical fruit, it would be kind of like the North American pear. Soft and sweet. Oh, mm -hmm. The one that's sort of bigger at the mm -hmm. bottom and smaller yeah. at the top. Oh, we get those in England too. Yeah, yeah. Because... Um, Pears here in Korea are not that. Mm. <laughs> I was surprised. I was like, oh, I will have a pear. What's this apple? What is this giant <laughs> this apple? This giant <laughs> apple. I didn't order this. <laughs> they're good, though. Yeah, they are very good. I admit they are very good. But mm -hmm. they're different. Yeah. They are different. Okay. <laughs> so how about the drinks variety? Do you like any fruity drinks? Fruity drinks are okay, and I used to be really against... Um, fruity ice creams and like fruity desserts because mm. I was like why would I want fruits in my desserts give me caramel <gasps> caramel too healthy me, yeah I was like why do I want health food in my junk food but you know what I've warmed up over the past few years probably because of age mm. and now everything fruit is perfectly fine mm -hmm. give me some uh, what's it called passion fruit <gasps> that, that sour sweetness a passion fruit drink very, yeah, nice. very nice it's nice well, there was a clue. This fruitless effort might be something to do with drinks. But let's dive into the article or just the summary to get the full story, and then we'll come back and discuss together. See you in part two. Fruitless effort? Starbucks offers several drinks whose names seem to imply that they contain certain fruits such as mango, acai, and passion fruit. In reality, the drinks do not contain any amount of these fruits. This bothers some customers, and some are participating in a class action suit against the company. Starbucks says that it has never lied about the ingredients of the drinks and has done nothing wrong, but some people feel that the drinks' marketing has been deceptive. 